we are going to be looking at one of these the mind-blowing artifacts that you would never expect to find in Syracuse, New York. We have a hair wreath. Yes, it sounds disgusting, I know, but it's bizarro, and it's crazy, and it's wild, and it's weird, and it's funky. It's, it's, it's one of a kind, and here it is in Syracuse. So it's uh, hair wreaths were very sort of common decorative arts uh, in Victorian America and Victorian England, as gross as that is to us in 2019, very weird. But the incredible artistry that you'll see in this piece will blow your mind. Now, on top of that, it's made with Abraham Lincoln's hair. That's right, the Abraham Lincoln, um, in addition to his cabinet members and other representatives from the Congress and their wives. The fine ladies of, of New York City decide to raise money and raise uh, some uh, public funds, if you will, to help support the war effort. And to do so, they figured that they could put this together with, again, I mean, the people, including the president, who's become more of a beloved figure in the North now that the war is going well. So it's like a, you know, it's like a raffle item. Lincoln's hair is, um, is known to be coarse. So when I saw this thing, when I first started at OHA, I look at the eagle and I'm like, oh my gosh. It really does stand out. You see the, the coarseness and sort of the thickness, the texture. Just a few years ago, a, a lock of Lincoln's hair that was, was authenticated sold for $25,000. So that's a lock. I mean, I got lots of locks in this, right? but you can't sell it. I would say, obviously, as a historian, uh, this, is a, this is a priceless piece. Uh, I've had study groups in to talk about Lincoln, and I've shown this to people that have like spent their lives studying Lincoln, and it evoked tears. People were choked up looking at it. Everybody wants a piece of Lincoln.